Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumption and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So... Uh, Today, I'm wearing a new ring. This is Alexanderite. It changes color with the sunlight. And it's not, so we might see it change color because the sun is now setting here. And I have to say that uh, my window is open because Rosie is here sitting on the window lash. Uh, she's uh, really very, uh, excited she came home after two days at her veterinary uh, clinic because we had pesticides uh, here and we didn't want her to get uh, poisoned but uh, it was very hard on her and when she still since she got home she's really very, finding it very hard to uh, be a uh, to, not to be around us all the time. So this is the, the best way that I could find her to be near me and not around my legs all the time. And I've been trying to film for a few times and she's been moving the camera all the time because she jam jumped on it. Okay, so uh, the question. Uh, today, Neil Sean talked about travelist and the Sussexes are going to do something together for travelists, maybe uh, an adv advertisement together. Uh, sounds really uh, completely BS to me because, I mean, the last adv advertisement that Harry did uh, was really ridiculous and he got mocked around that and uh, with them using uh, private jets all the time, living in a vast mansion, uh, using so much water and electricity for that mansion with a pool and a vast uh, 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 garden and she's never even I, I don't think that we ever saw her we were anything i mean if you're talking about conserving the environment at least uh, don't buy a new outfit for every time you go out from your house so uh, they don't they are not the couple to uh, go out and advertise uh, any kind of uh, Conserv uh, conserving the environment. So really sounds bogus to me and that is what I'm going to check here. Um, so this is the vice versa tarot and uh, I don't, you don't need uh, me to explain about that. So I'm going to start by clearing the deck. Okay, so let's start asking. So what is the truth behind the claims that the Sussexes are uh, going to do something together in order to uh, advertise travelist? Uh, is it true that they are going to do an adv advertisement together? Uh, are they going to do anything together for travelists? What are the, is the truth behind those claims? What is the lie behind those claims? What is the truth behind the claim that the Sussexes uh, are trying, uh, going to do something together for Travelist? So as always with this deck, I close my eyes when I'm doing this part so I won't be swayed by uh, anything that I see. And the first card is a card that describes the question and what I'm getting here is temperance but in the reverse. 
This is the temperance in the upright. This is the temperance in reverse. Now, temperance is about believing. This is about belief. This is about having faith that uh, that whatever you're doing, a partnership, a wedding, a, a wedding a, a relationship, whatever you're doing will succeed. But when it comes in the reverse, we see indecisiveness. We see fear of failure. We see pessimism. We see people that are ne neglecting everything. We see imbalance and uh, no control. Uh, and also we see someone, a, pe a person that is de developing some kind of dependence with uh, uh, the other. And this is uh, just showing us that even if they are uh, having those thoughts, they are not really thinking about that seriously because they have no faith that something like that can happen, can help them. They have no faith that this is uh, something that uh, might help travelists or their own, uh, their own, uh, um, uh, let's say their own. Uh, um, oh, public image. Uh, this is about fear of failure, and uh, because they, especially the wife, is afraid of failure, I don't see this as something that they can do. So they might be considering this, but they are brushing it aside because this is something that they have no faith in. So this is the main. Uh, card and the, what is the line so the line is the tower and this is the tower in the in the reversed this is the tower in the upright so the tower card is a card that speaks about foundations and this is a second major arcana so this is showing us that this is a very major question here about their weight uh, forward uh, the tower shows us that their foundation is uh, very, very weak, that they have nothing to build upon. And you can see here a man and a woman uh, are like two sphinx, uh, sphinxes that are uh, down here after they fell from the tower. So uh, this or before the tower, no, it looks like after the tower collapsed. Uh, yeah. This is after the tower collapsed. Uh, but so they are both in, uh, in two sides of the tower. And this shows that their entire foundation is about to collapse. This is not about travelists even. This is about their own, uh, their own relationship. And you can see here the, the, the mask here of this sad face and the tower looks completely, completely torn apart. So this is not only about uh, the foundation that is very, very weak. This is about recklessness, destruction, pressure, a uh, tendency to do mistakes. Uh, and because this is the last and this is also a, a, it comes in the reverse position. It is even worse than that. So there is no way that they are going to do anything together, not for travelists, and in my opinion, for nothing. I don't see them doing anything together in the way forward. Uh, and I don't think that even uh, Netflix is going to show anything with them because this is a card of divorce. This is a card of betrayals. And we already saw that their uh, relationship is on the rocks. They are not in a good place. And this only shows that uh, their relationship is just falling apart. So I don't see them doing anything together, not for travelists, not for any Anything. So what is the truth? And the truth is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is about a, a money. It is about a profit. It is about profit that is usually comes after working hard. And uh, since this is the truth, and it, but it does come after the, uh, the tower, it is 
badly aspected. So the truth here is that they are uh, looking, this is about over materialism, this is about looking for ways to make more money. The, the, the fact that they are putting out all sorts of uh, puff pieces to the media about this, about the fact that someone said that they are going to be billionaires, about the fact that they are now financially independent. Uh, this is all about their over-materialism. This is all about their, uh, in a way, uh, uh, need to show the world this perfect uh, image of themselves. So this is why uh, they are coming out with all of those path pieces. This is not really about working hard in order to get that those nine pentacles. This is about uh, showing the world that they are able to do that, that they can do that, that they have options. They are coming, going back and back, uh, to, the, to things that they have done in the past trying to uh, show the world that they have uh, options and they can become financially independent, that they can uh, move themselves forward. So this is why it's coming out and this is the truth behind all of this. Uh, so this is the, the this is the, the picture that they want us to see. Uh, uh, the, the, and the truth behind this is that this is about their restless uh, efforts of expecting success without efforts. Uh, and re uh, and re restlessness in trying to uh, achieve things without working hard to get those. So that is the truth. And how do we see everything panning out? It's the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is disappointment. It's disappointment from reality. And usually, uh, when it is positively aspected, we see people that are willing to do whatever it is, uh, whatever they can in order to achieve the, tr the, achieve the truth, uh, in order to uh, change that reality and make it better, in order to go to... The card that com comes after that is the Eight of Pentacles that shows us someone who is working hard even though he's not getting a lot of money. And then it, there is the Nine of Pentacles. So they are trying to reach the Nine of Pentacles from the Seven of Pentacles without going through the the Eight of Pentacles, which is a crucial, crucial uh, part of the way. Now, because this is badly aspected, as it comes right af uh, after the, the tower, it shows us fear of failure. It shows us that, especially in money matters, they are afraid to fail. It shows avoidance, and it shows that they are making bad choices. It shows that they are now paying for their past mistakes. So, altogether, I am saying BS. This is not true. They are not going to do anything together, not for travelist and probably not for not anything else. I don't see them coming out with anything together for uh, doing anything together. And there has been already uh, media uh, articles that say that Harry is fed up with the Netflix cameras that are coming, uh, going around them all the time. So. Uh, uh, I think that they are trying to prepare the uh, to, to to prepare us to the fact that there is not going to be even a, the a Netflix documentary. All of these are just puff pieces, and it's they're just I don't see them doing anything together. They're just lacking the faith. They don't have any more faith in one another, and not faith in their joint way, and their foundations are just crumbling and they are completely in separate sides so no i don't see them doing anything together just straight no so i'm going to take a wisdom card from the mystical wisdom tarot and let's see what can we find for this what kind of wisdom does the oracle have for them? Not that I think that they are even listening to any kind of advice, but let's see what does the 
what does the oracle have to say? So first I'm cleaning the deck. Okay, so wisdom card for Harry and Megan going forward and for Travelist. Wisdom card for Travelist and for Harry and Megan going forward. Are they going to join forces? What can we find about Harry and Megan and Travelist? So I'm going to take two cards. One is wisdom for Harry and Megan, and one is for a Travelist. So for Harry and Megan, what we're getting is enlightenment. So they need to uh, pursue spiritual uh, growth. They need enlightenment. They need to open their eyes and see the reality as it is, to see truth as it is. This is what the Oracle is telling them. Enlighten yourself. You need to open your eyes and see reality as it really is. So this is the, the this wisdom card for uh, Harry and Meghan. And for Travelist, we're getting creative wonderment. Follow your passion. So uh, Travelist need to find some kind of creative way to uh, pull, uh, push themselves forward. Uh, going with Harry and Meghan is not the way. They need to find a way a creative way to make that work but as long as they are being represented by someone who is doing exactly the opposite of what they are talking about i don't see that happening so they really need to start thinking about other creative ways of uh, pushing themselves forward and going up those stairs Okay, so this is it for this uh, edition of the BS Detector. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.